What's up guys, welcome back to yet another video. So this time, um, I'm going to be giving a tutorial on how to make a server in the combat test snapshot. Okay, so first thing you're gonna wanna do, uh, this is just my desktop, but you're gonna, gonna wanna right click and then new and then folder and then let's call this server or something, I don't know. Okay, so this is your server folder. This is where all of the stuff from the server is gonna be, I don't know. So. Uh, just open that and it'll open it here and now you're gonna want to get the server jar file So there are multiple ways to do that, but I'll be showing you the easiest. So, um uh, I'm just gonna open up the minecraft launcher uh, I'll wait for this to load in. Okay, here we go. So, um now we are gonna want to go into installations and then um you should already have an installation for the latest combat snapshot because you're watching this video. There's a, if there's not, there's a tutorial on it um, on my channel somewhere. But um, so you're going to want to go into here in installations and then click on these three dots and then click edit. So then you're going to want to click on this little server button thing, with the download symbol. So click on that and um, well, it opened this in another screen, but... Um, it's gonna open like this um, like download thing on Chrome or whatever browser you're using. I'll just click keep. Uh, that was what I did earlier, but now we have that. So now we can X out of that um, and then just drag that into the folder and then boom. Okay, so now you're just gonna, gonna wanna run it. Just double click it. Uh, it might take a bit, but you can wait for it. It'll generate a bunch of files on its own. Okay, so these are all the files. So, um, now, uh, just uh, open up this uh, EULA, ULA, I don't know, just do uh, EULA equals true. It's just, um, it's end user license agreement. It just means like you can't sell things on your server or something like that. You probably won't have to worry about it. But yeah, just uh, once you set EULA to true and then saved it. Wait, did I? Yeah, I saved it. Okay. Um, then just run the server file. Uh, yeah, the server file again and this it might take a bit because this time it has to generate a lot more files Okay, so it should have opened this window and then it says like a bunch of stuff and then preparing spawn area and then a bunch of percents and then once it says done uh, Then you know your servers up. So now um Okay, so now you have to do port forwarding. That is way beyond the scope of this video. There are much better tutorials other places online. It's like specific to your internet provider or whatever and stuff. So um, I don't know, go <laughs> watch another tutorial for that. It's much more complicated, but once you've done that, um, then this uh, the server should work. So you can actually test that out um, by you know just opening Minecraft again. Okay, so once this is open, I'll just full screen it kind of, so then just go into multiplayer, and then it's easiest to um, just go into direct connection, and then type in this localhost thing, uh, just to test if the, like, if it works. So, um, this just, it, it don't, this only works if you're running on your own computer, no one else will be able to join it, unless it's like a LAN server or something. Um, so if you want other people to join it, you'll have to do the port forward thing, thing, which I'm not explaining in this video, but yeah, here we go. Now you're, now you're playing on the server. Um, yeah, and then once you get the port forwarding set up, uh, you can just look up your IP online just by typing, what's my IP? And that'll work. So, yeah, hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!